Internet Protocol version 4 or IPv4 design. In this video, I'm going to talk about IPv4 design actually at the first step of IPv4 learning and also learning about the design of IPv4. We are talking about the IPv4 header. This is the first step actually one of the most important features related to IP or internet protocol is the header of IP because of that at the first step we should know about different fields and multiple fields that we have in the IPv4 header because of that first we are starting our uh, knowledge or learning about the IPv4 design with the IPv4 header you know that according to the TCP IP model okay IP or internet protocol is a protocol that is working in the layer 3 of the TCP IP model and also uh, you know that IP is the abbreviation of IP or internet protocol and also we know that the transport protocols means TCP and UDP okay TCP is the abbreviation of transmission control protocol and, and UDP is the abbreviation of user data ground protocol okay should create a segment and after that the segment should be sent to the IP or internet protocol as you can see here TCP and UDP should send their segments to the IP and after that IP should create the IP data or packet or data ground we call it packet actually when we are giving the uh, for example segment to the IP IP should give us packet or data ground you know that IP is described in RFC 791 and IP was prepared for the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency or DRPA in September 1981. Now let me to explain the IPv4 header. Here we have one simple scenario. I have configured this simple scenario. We have two rotors, rotor 1 and rotor 2. I am going to use this simple scenario only for verification of the IP header. You know that this is the IPv4 header. I will explain all of the fields in this in this video and also all of the fields in this for example header. Let me first emphasize that the IPv4 header is 20 bytes actually in length actually IPv4 header without IP option okay has 20 bytes and when we are adding IP options for some specific reasons maybe the IPv4 header size is increasing because of that until now we have learned that the segment should be sent to the IP and after that IP create the IP the packet or datagram and we know that one of the most important features that we have in the IP is the IP header and now we are talking about the IP header. IP header without IP options and also padding has 20 bytes length. Look at here. Here we have 20 bytes length and it means that uh, we can say the IP header in most cases has 20 bytes in length but in some rarely cases that we have IP option field and also padding maybe the header of IP is increasing about the size okay now I'm going to show you first one simple IP header and after that we will learn about the content of the IP header it is so easy and also so interesting look at here for example we can capture the link between the router 1 and router 2 it is so easy and then we can send a traffic from router 1 to router 2 or if you want you can use telnet protocol to send telnet session from r1 to r2 let me uh, to use uh, for example icmp or I, uh, icmp echo request router 1 ping 10122 now we have connectivity okay and this is the result of our capture let me to stop it here you can see we have icmp echo request and then icmp echo reply here we can see the packet this is uh, the uh, for example internet control message protocol or icmp icmp is a protocol that we have in the layer 3 and it should send its traffic to, uh, it should give its traffic to the ip here you can see that we have icmp then ip then ethernet and this is the layer one as actually 
actually here uh, we can see the content of this uh, uh, for example data then here on the internet protocol version 4 we have some information here you can see these informations here let me to compare the header of ip that we have captured with this figure look at here we have the first field the version i will explain it and then the internet header lens ihl and after that here we have type of service this is the type of service actually here we have two field differentiated service code point and ecn both of them okay are calling the a type of service or tos this is the new name of tos i will explain it after that we have total length and then we have identification and then we have flags and then fragment offset then time to leave after that protocol and after that uh, for example header checksum then here we have source ip destination ip and this is the real data you know that here we don't have IP option field and padding only in some rarely cases we can see the IP options and also padding I will explain them for now let me to start talking about the different fields that we have in the IP header the first field is the version as you can see version has four bits lengths look at here here we have four bits lengths okay and here we can experience one of these two value the first value is the four zero okay as one one zero zero one one zero equal is equal to the four and also it is possible that we see uh, for example here zero one uh, zero one zero zero means four and also it is possible to see zero one one zero it is equal to six what does it mean with version actually we can understand this is the ipv4 header or ipv6 header i will explain the ipv6 header in future videos now we are talking about the ipv4 because of that we expect to see always in these four bits in these four first four bits the value of 0 1 0 0 actually with these four bits the receiver can understand this is the header of ipv4 or this is the header of ipv6 let me to show you the uh, for example version here in the capture file this is our capture we can see that in version we have 0 1 0 0 it is so easy this is the first step and we know that it indicates the ip headers format based on the version number and we should see we expect to see 0 1 0 0 for ipv4 and 0 1 1 0 for ip v6 this is the first field that now we know about it look at here this is the version all right now let me to explain the next field the next field is ihl or internet header links as you can see here again we have four bits okay and this field ihl indicate the length of the header in 32 bit word you know that if in ip header we don't have ip options the length of the ip header is 20 byte okay i have explained it before because of that here maybe you expect to see the value of 20 but actually here we can see the length of the header in 32 bit word 32 bit means 4 byte actually because here now the length of this header is 20 byte we expect to see the value of 5 okay 5 means 0 1 0 okay 1 it means that here now we have the value of 5 and 5 means 20 byte okay and because at least we expect to see 20 bytes the minimum value in the ihl okay is the five and if we have option fields and also padding we will uh, experience the values more than five here let me write here this is the version 0, 0100 0, 0. and then in IH, ihl we expect to see now 0, 0101 0, 1 means five but five multiply four byte equal to the uh, 20 byte and this is the length of the header don't forget this is only the length of header not the data actually when we are for example sending icmp let me to show you this is our icmp okay 
and after that we have I simply echo request and after that we have a 20 bytes IP header we are sending this packet to the rotor 2 rotor 2 after uh, for example verification of this field the IHL field can understand after which number of bytes okay each it, it can reach to the data to the real data to the ICMP for example it know about the start of the IP and it knows about after for example 5 multiply 4 means 20 byte okay it can reach to the real data it is so useful let me to show you the value of ihl here you can see that the va value of ihl is 5 and this is the header length and as you can see the value is 5 equal to the 20 bytes it is so easy the next header the next header is the type of a service or tos here let me to write it here we have a field we call it tos or type of service okay we are using tos or type of service for giving priority to the packet actually we are using type of service in quality of service courses okay quality of service or qos Be for understanding the tos okay i will give you more information about this field because of that for now let me to say only that type of service or tos has eight bits in length okay and when we want to implement quality of service for si some type of traffics we can use this field and because of that i will explain it a little more in um, in this uh, video for now let me to say that here we have eight bits and the eight bits can be between eight zero okay a two eight one it is so easy i will explain it don't worry and this is related to quality of service eight zero or max and maximum value is eight one i will explain it don't worry after that we have total length about the total length as you can see here we have 16 bits okay what does it mean here we have one the we have one header ihl and in this is the internet header 